All right. When it comes to old school friends, some of the guys that, you know, I played football at recess growing up, uh, do you still stay in touch with some of the way, guys from way, way back? Like you went to elementary school? Not that far back, but high school, yes. Right. I talked to those guys quite a bit. Yeah, this guy just caught up re recently. Hadn't talked to him in a while since he was actually up here for a game. Tom Reinschmidt is from my hometown of Racine. He has been a Florida native for over two decades and went to a Packers Buccaneers game mm. with me that you actually played in. And he is our fan Zoom of the week. Well, I've known this guy for 40 years. In fact, I think if I remember correctly, Tom, uh, first day of school, third grade, we got into a fist fight, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it definitely brings back some memories. It's been... <laughs> what was it? You, you, I think you were trying to steal my lunch or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was probably you trying to steal mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to ask. Look, you've lived in Florida now for over two decades, and uh, Tom Brady goes to Tampa Bay. And this weekend, boy, the Buccaneers beat down the Packers. What's it like living down there as an avid Packers fan right now? You know, truthfully, there seem to be more Packer fans that, that I interact with than Tampa fans. So, you know, it really doesn't, doesn't seem like a Tampa area. Um, and I am in Orlando, so I'm not directly, you know, 100 miles away. But it's still, you know, whether it's Packer fans or – Patriot fans or Giants fan, Florida just has a lot of transplants. I was just going to say, that's where a lot of the old folks go and a lot of people like you. <laughs> it's warm weather and you're not in 40 degrees in October like it is up here. All right. Uh, you went to an NFL game with me about 22 years ago, I believe it was, when Tampa Bay actually beat Green Bay. What was that experience like? Because back then, before 9-11, you could bring someone on the football field with you. It was an awesome experience. I mean... You know, being in the stands is one thing, but on the field, you know, seeing seeing the size of the players, seeing the speed of the players is amazing. And TV just doesn't do it justice. Yeah, um, definitely. You know, the sounds of the game just are so much more, you know, you feel it. Um, where in the stands, you're hearing more of the – the other fans than you are the, the game itself. Yeah, it's definitely a one of a kind experience, that's for sure. Look, we played football growing up down in Racine. And the funny part about our neighborhood and being south of Milwaukee, we divided up teams based on your loyalty to two teams. And you and I were always on the Packers side of things. But your brother and the rest of the neighborhood, can you believe it? They were Bears fans. Well, uh, they like being on the losing side. So, <laughs> yeah. We, <laughs> You know, it held, well, at the time it didn't hold true. You know, the Packers were really struggling at the time, but, you know, we made up for it in the neighborhood. Yeah, definitely. That's right. The 80s were not a good time, as we've discovered or we've talked about in, in the past. Now, look, let's switch gears a little bit. Sports in Florida during the coronavirus era. Look, your daughters are involved in it. What's it like down there? Because it's a completely different experience here. All the bigger cities, it's it completely shut down for football. The small towns are still playing, and there's still soccer and volleyball and some other sports going on. But what's the environment like down there? Um, it's pretty much back up and running. Um, they're doing things definitely different. Um, I know, like, for the football, um, the kids in school, they're actually in what they're calling a bubble. Um, while the students are at class or at school, they are in one class together. They don't interact with the other students um, trying to complete the football seasons. Um, my daughter is in swim and water polo. Um, she's in regular, regular classes, or they can um, choose what's called opt-ed, where they're at home um, on the computers. But my daughter actually goes to school every day and then goes to practice afterwards. And um, the big issue for, from a swim perspective is the number of meets is way down. Um, previous years, they, you know, two, couple, one or two a week, um, this year, they've had a total of four um, in the entirety for the whole season. Yeah, definitely but different. She's definitely glad to be back in, in the water and with her teammates. Yeah, that seems to be the prevailing thing, you know, whether it's youth sports, uh, high school, anything. Just getting some interaction and communication with those other kids that you just don't see, especially up here that now that most schools are uh, online. All right, favorite Packers moment or memory either growing up, Favre, Rogers, you name it. 
a uh, couple different ones. Um, you know, I was used to have season tickets um, for the Milwaukee season package. Um, best cold weather game, went to a game against the Raiders in 93. Um, you know, froze my butt off. You know, remember I had to poke poke holes in the beer because it was freezing solid. Um, <laughs> hey, was that the Leroy then, Butler Lambo Leap game? Yes. 28 nothing. Yes. Yeah, I was there too. Yeah. Yep. And, and then one of the hottest down here went to the Jaguar game um, a couple of years ago. And, you know, 100 plus degrees was on the very top row. And even up there, there was just like no movement. Huh. Um, so was on either end of the hot, one of the hottest and coldest. Yeah, both ends of it, below zero, and then one scorcher, scorcher in Florida, that's for sure. All right, yeah. Tom Reinschmidt, good friend of mine from Racine. For decades, I've known you, and you are our fan Zoom of the week. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot, Burke. True story. He and I went to the principal's office quite a few times. Did you? Okay. Yeah, over our little stretch that we knew each other. All right, when we come back, we'll have our NFL breakdown, check out the NFC North, and talk about those Houston Texans. Don't go anywhere.